taking out truancy by getting kids to class. Students around the area will start going back to school pretty soon. And when classes start, a new law goes into effect. As News 5's Lauren Wilson explains, the goal is to make sure students are not treated like criminals. For me, my education is like really important. Rarely missing a day. Most of I miss schools if I'm sick or something. Carter Harris and her friend Sierra make sure they stay focused. Make sure I have good grades. Uh, make sure I get a good GPA. But these two know some that aren't like-minded. They ditch out. I tell them like school is important, but they don't listen. In the past, those ditchers and skippers will be headed to court. But House Bill 410 is changing the game. You cannot suspend a kid solely because they're truant or because they're cutting school or because they're late for school. That was never the right response. It puts a support type system in place for students instead, mixed with teachers, school counselors, and the principal, both in school and online. They'll have 60 days to work with the team and their parents. I believe is asking all educators to view truancy as a barrier as you would for any scholar who struggles to sit still or struggles to read. That means students can no longer be suspended or expelled for excessive truancy right away. Some people may view it as more work. I say it's the right work. Carter Harris at John Hay High School agrees with the bill too, saying while she's never skipped, people who do may not always do it for negative reasons. Some kids, they just skip school just to skip to have fun, but other kids, like, they can really go through things you would never really know. The new bill covers districts statewide and starts the first day of school for every district and online education systems. Lauren Wilson, News 5.